Hi everyone, welcome back to Forentics, where we bring the best tutorials for you. In today's video, we are exploring UI automations using coded workflows, a way to bring the power of coding into your automation. This tutorial is perfect for those who want to go beyond the drag and drop interface and level up their skills. Watch the video till end as I have shared an important step at the end. So let's get started. Let's jump directly into the UiPath Studio. Here we have a blank project in UiPath Studio. Now let's go into the new menu and click on coded workflow to create a coded workflow file. Let's name it as Acme Coded and click on create button. So UiPath has now created this .cs file and you can see this is not our usual .xaml file. This is a complete C sharp file that is why the extension is .cs. You can see it here right. It's not a .xaml file. So let's understand this file a little bit. Here is our code editor. We can write any C sharp code here and UiPath has already added some basic namespaces uh, which we can use. It has given some comments here on how we can get started with the coded workflow. So we will not need this. So let's go ahead and delete this comment for now. Right. So the most important thing here is the this execute function. This is the main entry point of this file. Whenever we run this code, this is the first function that will be called and everything in under this will be executed first. Right. Okay, let's go into the demo. So for this demo, we are keeping it simple but impactful. Here is what we will be doing. We will launch a website called UI Bank. We will scroll down and click on apply for account and then fill out this form. It has uh, some nickname and then select the type of account and click on apply. Right. This is the automation that we will be doing. Let's go back to the home page and minimize this for now. As we will not be doing this with the UI automation but code instead. So we will need a way to access the UI element of this website right. So for that we will be using the object repositories which is used to map and store the UI elements which can later be used in the automation. So here in object repository let's go and click on this add icon here and create to create an application. Right. Let's give this an application name. We'll call it UI Bank and click on create application. Now once the application is created, we can create the screen. Let's right click on this and click on create screen and we'll call it as UI Bank Home. Right. This is home screen and click on indicate screen and let's indicate this browser. Okay, so we have indicated this screen. Click on create a screen to create this screen. Now we will need to create the next element. Let's right click on here and click on create element and give it a name. We will call it apply button. Right. Click on indicate and click on apply for the account apply for account here is the selector if you want you can also fine tune the selector here the selector looks good here let's click on confirm to accept the selector here and click on save so the first screen is now completed so we'll now need to go to second screen and create another screen for this So here I am adding all the elements of this page one by one. 
So here you can see I have created all the three elements of this apply screen and one element in this UI bank screen. So now we can write this some code here. So first of all, let's see how we can log a message like we do with uh, log message activity. For that, we can directly use the log function, log then function, whatever the message. So first parameter is the message. It says welcome to coded workflow and then type of the log label so we we'll call it log label log level dot in right so this will print a log this will work same as the log message activity now next let's create a variable we we'll call var uh, ui tag is equal to ui automation we will use ui automation dot to open the browser what we will want to open we will open the UI bank home UI bank home and that's it now we can use this UI bank dot click what we would like to click is uh, apply button apply button oh we made a mistake we kept the both names same. Let's right click it, at, rename it, apply button underscore form, right? So that we can identify the two different buttons. So now this should open this uh, UI bank home screen and then click on the supply button. Next, we need to create another variable for the next screen. So we'll call it UI apply is equal to UI automation and this time we will not be opening but instead we will be attaching it with apply screen this way we have applied we have attached it to the our original browser now we can use this UI apply variable dot type into where do we want to type first we would want to type in nickname right these are the same name which are there in the object repository right here i am taking it from here nickname nickname comma what do we want to type let's say code and type that's what we want to call it and next why apply next is select item if you go and check here it, this is a drop down menu so we'll see select item uh, from what is the element name the element name is account and what do we need to type savings let's say savings right next we would like to just click ui apply ui apply dot click and what do we want to click create the PLA apply button underscore form so this should open our ui bank home first click on the apply button then attach the ui apply screen and then enter the nickname as code enter the select the account as savings and click on the apply button let's run this and see but before that i will close this previously opened ui bank application click on run file So here you can see it has opened it and also it has entered the values which don't apply button. So we build this automation without using any of the our traditional activities. Instead we have created this automation using our uh, code only. So as promised the important thing that I was talking about is like you might think okay how do I get the name that we typed here right this code enter I have hard coded it here. The main idea to use coded workflow is to use it with our regular automations right. But here we cannot see our regular variable pane or the argument pane. So how do our how do we get our in argument or out argument? How do we get this code enter values or the savings values from our other workflows? So for that, what we can do is we can go here in the our execute function and then just give the create two variables. First we call string 
click name right and the next string uh, account type account underscore type right and we will replace this with nickname and we will replace this with our variable account type now let's go into our main.yaml file here let's drag and drop a sequence first right. let's set for invoke the block file activity drag and drop it here and choose our workflow at my 48.cs as soon as we select this file you can see we have got two arguments one is nickname and account type like we passed it here we'll give it here test name and the account type is checked in now let's save it and we will run this the main workflow so what this will do this will call this acme code it r code it workflow and then run this automation so let's run this file so it has opened the UI bank application and it has entering the values and clicked on apply so this is how you use code it workflow in UiPath. i hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching and happy coding